Every day our brain has to deal with loads of stimuli. Each external perception is perceived by senses, sent to the brain, processed, and a number of reactions are coming as response. What happens if we remove each possible stimuli that comes to the brain, even the softest stimuli that we have while sleeping on the bed? This is a flotation tank, and I've just finished my first sensory deprivation session. Sensory deprivation consists in the removal of stimuli from one or more senses. Nowadays this therapy is used in psychology due to its strong effect on the human brain. The loneliness, the isolation of the subject reveals the self in an objective way, without distortion caused by the external reality. Short sessions of one or more hours are used to cure minor disease like depression or tobacco and alcohol addiction, while longer sessions are used to cure major disease like autism. In the last century, many tools have been invented for this purpose. Restricted Environmental Stimulation Therapy or REST apparatus are the isolation tank for a short-term session and the isolation chamber for longer. Proofs of sensory deprivation techniques are in the human culture since the very beginning. Individuals remaining in dark caves for days, boys moving to the major age after a period alone in the jungle, or hermits choosing to live alone are just a few examples of a bigger culture in which as a broken bone is isolated from the external reality to heal, the same method is used to cure brain and soul. Today I'm going to visit a tank floating center in Amsterdam. The very first isolation tank was invented by John C. Lilly in 1954. As physician, neuroscientist, psychoanalyst, psychonaut, philosopher and writer, his purpose was to research the nature of consciousness. Since the very first vertical metal version of the tank, as the one seen in the movie Altered States, the design and the shape of this tool has improved a lot. Hello, Andre. Hi. Hi, my name is Louis Schopman. I'm the manager of Kaunflaut, Float and Massage Center. Nice to meet you. Kaunflaut is just around the corner, as you know. You've yeah. been there. Yeah. Uh, and uh, this is uh, the showroom, actually, for the flotation cabins. Mm -hmm. We uh, sell and manufacture these cabins uh, ourselves. Inside the water, there is uh, uh, Epsom salts, a very uh, um, large percentage of Epsom salts, 500 kilograms of Epsom salt in this water. Uh, for example, magnesium inside Epsom salt is very healthy, very beneficial for, uh, for your body and mind. Your uh, ears will, will be below the surface, that's why we always also have the, have the uh, earplugs for you. Um, and yeah, you just lay back and relax and uh, just uh, you, you're, the salt in the water will, uh, will keep you buoyant. The thinnest person, the, the, the thickest person, anyone can float, absolutely, yeah. You just step inside and you will close the lid behind you. Uh, and inside you have uh, control over several buttons, but actually it's um, meant to just let, sit back, lay back and relax and just turn off the light, turn off the sound, turn everything off and just experience complete re relaxation. So there is a light over there and the light button is always uh, on if you step inside and you can turn it off by just pushing the, the button over here, yeah. on and off. And uh, over there, there's a button as well for light. Um, at the end, the white button over there is uh, air circulation. You can have some more like uh, air conditioning. And on that side, there are three buttons. The, the, the top button is audio on and off, and uh, the lower buttons are volume louder and softer. Yeah, the, the last button is the black button. It's the intercom button. Uh, through the intercom, we can let you know that the session is over through the telephone. Uh, and also, if you have an urgent question or if, if, if you have any question, then you can just press the button and you're in contact with, uh, with me or with one of my employees and one of my colleagues.
In the absence of stimuli and gravity, the brain has freed up large masses of neurons from the necessity of constant computations. Besides, not used to this blindness, the mind tries in any way to get a signal from the external world, raising the sensitivity of every sense and every part of the brain. The absence of stimuli, moreover, has the effect of changing the main brain waves. From the state of alert and readiness to react to the outside world dangers in which the brain is producing mainly high-frequency beta waves, the floater can easily start to produce a large amount of low-frequency theta and delta waves. The floater's body is experiencing a deep rest, deeper than the one attained in the bed. Besides, the Epsom salt's high magnesium concentration is helping the muscles to get relaxed and it's decreasing the blood's level of cortisol, whose effects in long term are known to lead to a weaker immune system and other very common disease. The kind of feelings that one has in an isolation tank are many and different from one individual to another. I think after 20 minutes or so I really get into a nice relaxed sort of situation where I could enjoy it. In complete silence. It's just you um, floating with your thoughts. I would compare this with, uh, with uh, being in a uh, mother womb. The cassatezza è pace, ma sia fisica che mentale. I just learned about this thing uh, a couple of hours before. Because you lay in there and you don't feel and, your body uh, at all. And it becomes and like your body and the water become one, some yeah. sort of a melted thing. Pretty relaxing. It was a bit strange. Your body is just you know, floating. And I also have a back pain. But now I think I kind of kind of feel that it has gotten better. Experiencing a dream but being uh, aware of the surrounding where you are in. Peaceful. Peaceful. Really relaxed. Very relaxing. I, I also had like some sort of visuals going on that were carrying me in the little dream world. And like I've just uh, woken up. And you can completely focus on your mind and it's really amazing. It was another nice moment when I really felt like how much more quiet I was than at the moment I went into the tank. So definitely uh, going to try it again. Low frequency brain waves are naturally attained by one just before sleeping and just before waking up. This state is known as hypnagogia, a particular altered state which is characterized by heightened suggestibility, a logic and fluid association of ideas so it can provide insight into a problem or enhance creativity. It has been proved that meditation's masters, as the Buddhist monk, can extend the duration of the hypnagogic state in meditation, in which they can easily produce a large amount of theta waves. The isolation tank can easily lead the floater to the same state, but without the years of training required in meditation. The tank is indeed a very good way to cure burnout, to give uh, relief from chronic pain, and one can increase the thinking potential and focus more on the self. The knowledge of the self is useful also to increase the self-healing power in physical and mental terms. This high potential is well known in Sweden, where inspired by the studies of the psychologist Donald Hebb, the most recent studies on the rest have been done, showing off the medical potential of the tank. The isolation tank is an awesome tool, which enhance, improve and heal the self, physically and mentally. But the pure philosophy of John Celili says that the tank is just a tool to attain a state that should be replicated outside of it. As Alejandro Jodorowsky said after his tank experience, I can live in this society in a very polite way, in a very communicative way, being immersed all the time in the tank without F a tank.